Um, we are together with Ankara 3, 3 yes. and Super Shimshek, in fact, together, two different uh, UAVs together. Yes. Could you tell us what is the Anka 3's main mission? Anka 3's main mission is to use as a deep strike uh, mission because it's a stealth aircraft and uh, it has more speed than Anka and Aksungur, mm -hmm. so it can go inside the uh, enemy uh, defense uh, areas. Behind the behind the enemy yeah, uh, behind lines. Enemy, enemy lines and go for uh, for stealth missions and release uh, many type of bombs. Mm -hmm. uh, it can carry up to 1,200 kilograms mm -hmm. uh, in wing stations and also in the fuselage stations combined together. And also with this Super Shimshik, Super Shimshik is also uh, is very uh, important asset for us because it can be used not only for decoy and also it can be used for uh, some munitions uh, as a loitering kamikaze munitions, drone, loitering yes. munition, and also for electronic support and electronic attack. So you can control Super Shimshik from the ground control station of uh, Anka 3. Anka 3 pilot can control Super Shimshik uh, as, as a munition for Anka 3. Or Khan pilot may control, am yes. I right? Yes, yes. So uh, Khan is a stealth aircraft with Royal Wing man mission with uh, Anka 3 yeah. may enter to the yes. zone yes. and then control the rest. Yes. The Anka 3 can be controlled by uh, the other platforms of the uh, Tusash, mm -hmm. uh, like Khan or Hurjet, because we are making a design to use uh, all the communication network uh, with other platforms uh, together uh, to get more uh, effective uh, mm -hmm. missions with all the platforms used in one mission. Uh, it's a tailless it's a tailless configuration yeah. uh, it, uh, it's stealth conf it's stealth values are better maybe better, yes. but it's uh, maneuverability should be a little bit less than tail with the tail yes aircraft. you are right about it because our uh, goal to to design this aircraft not to make that much maneuvers like the f-16 or uh, our car. no dog fight no dog fight but uh, with uh, with this system, you can make some deep strikes with, with the stealth uh, configuration, and you can carry uh, very various various type of munitions up to 83 or 84 max series. Mm -hmm. okay. So you can use this system as a deep strike missions. If you want to go somewhere fast, mm -hmm. you can use this UAV, and uh, our Khan system or Hurjet can be behind the enemy lines, so they can send. Uh, Anka 3 to the enemy lines first mm -hmm. to make the deep strike uh, missions then all the manned platforms can enter to the enemy lines. And super jet, it will not be faster than the sound of speed? Yes, yes, super shim not, not uh, lower than the uh, speed of sound, it's lower than uh, 1 Mach, it is about 0 0.8 or 0 0.85 Mach for the super ship. So will it mimic uh, F-16 uh, aircraft? Or? Yes, it can carry uh, different types of payloads. One payload uh, as, as, as IR emulator or like mm -hmm. RCS augmenter. Mm -hmm. So you can increase your RCS mm -hmm. like some F-16 or some big aircraft coming to the enemy lines. So enemy radars uh, starts to uh, search radars mm -hmm. to get the image of the aircraft. Mm -hmm. So you can find the exact locations of the radar systems of the enemy mm -hmm. uh, with using this decoy. Then the rest of the uh, group can make attack for the radars of the enemy. So it will be used for SEAT missions? Yes, yes. And uh, so will it have just a, a, gr uh, a grand desire, uh, just a, um, making RSS bigger or mimicking digitally and aircraft. Both systems will be available for the Super Shim Shek. Hmm. Also mimics and also uh, increase the uh, radar cross-section. It will be installed uh, on both. On both. What is the uh, Turkish production rate on, on the both aircraft, both unmanned systems? We are in the prototype uh, phase now, so we are not making uh, a plan serial for serial production at the moment. But uh, like the Super Shimshek, Shimshek also is in production and Anka is in the production. So we can uh, produce this, this type of big UAVs up to 3 to 4 in amount for the Shimshek. Version, for example, 10 to 20 in amount. 
Hmm. So uh, these, th these rates can be achieved also with these systems because we are making the old manufacturing and production activities into such. So it's in our hands. Right. And uh, without the engine, except the engine, mm -hmm. Anka 3 is completely your product. Yes, our product. And uh, all the ground systems of Anka and Aksungur can be used with Anka 3, which is a big advantage because mm -hmm. if someone uses the Anka or Aksungur in their uh, base, base, yes, so they can use Anka 3 with the same ground control station and same data links. So you can transfer the control of uh, Anka 3 from one stable one base to another base. Yes, uh, right. You can so the one which is closer to the yes. event yeah. may control it. Today we are making the handover of the aircrafts Anka and Aksungur from mm -hmm. one base to another base. Mm -hmm. So when you uh, put the Anka 3 to the dead base, also it, it can be used with all ground network systems. I see some J, HGK 84, and, uh, and other uh, long-range uh, ammunition or missiles. Yes. So there is no uh, in the design. There is no way to for for actual bombing from there. It will be always uh, bombing or attacking somewhere in the deep in a deep strike mission, as far mm -hmm. as I understand. There is no uh, like general purpose bomb in the inner bay, as yeah, far as I yeah, understand. Yeah. Because up to now, we have used some laser-guided munitions, which is not that much uh, uh, high-range munitions. So we need to be in, the, to be in, in the line of sight, in the, in the li uh, line of sight and also uh, you need to be in enemy line mm -hmm. to put that munition for the enemy. Right. So with this munition, with this high-capacity uh, munitions, we can release these munitions behind the enemy lines. Mm -hmm and uh, it will be more safe for our VUVs it, it because it will be in the behind of the enemy lines. So you can send them uh, to high ranges of, of the enemy. So at the end of the day, we are not only uh, diminishing the risk for uh, aircraft, mm -hmm. also for the unmanned system, uh, and uh, even for the unmanned system by using a standoff missile yeah. or standoff ammunition. Yeah, and also the Super Shim 6, for example, uh, because you can use the Super Shim Shake as a decoy, mm -hmm. so you can alert all the radars and you can put see take, them, the radar take all the uh, defense systems of the enemy to the Super Shim Shake. So behind that uh, Super Shim Shake, you can use Anker 3s, and only behind, you can use Khan and Hirushet also. So uh, the Royal Wingman will be Khan, Anka. And then under the car, uh, under the uh, Anka Anka 3, 3, there will be super, super shim 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 shim. Shim. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you.